it's Katie, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video that's a little bit different than the usual and it is a review of a Chloe Ting workout challenge. And Chloe Ting has a variety of workout challenges that you can try. I think the two week shred program is the most popular one that's going around on YouTube. Personally, I decided to go with something that's a little bit different called the Hourglass program because the two areas that I really lack are the core and the booty. Mm -hmm. And in this video, you'll see a progression of my time doing the workout and also my feedback on what the experience was like and at the end you'll see a before and after i'm a bit nervous sharing this but i hope you guys enjoy it and find encouragement because you know every body is beautiful and finding different ways to help yourself to feel confident and beautiful and healthy is i think the most important thing we're gonna travel back in time to day one and in day one you'll notice that I still have my braces but towards the end I took them off so that's something that's cool that you will see. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy watching this and let's get rolling. Here is my tummy. I would like to get more definition. My booty is uh, almost non-existent so let's get started. As you can see from the first video, I have to say the workouts were not easy when I first started and it didn't get like that much easier for at least the first 9 days. And one thing to note is that this workout is a 25 day program so you work out 5 times a week. Mind you, I took Pilates lessons 2 times a week and I tried doing the Chloe Ting workout after the Pilates lessons but I was dead. <laughs> So this was a work in progress. The whole schedule, I had to work around it. I would do around three to four workouts of Chloe Ting's and then do two days of Pilates. So as I explained, for the first week and a half, around nine days, I was out of breath, <laughs> struggling and questioning myself, why did I get myself into this workout? It definitely was hard. <laughs> And then after a week and a half, when it hit my two week mark, I was feeling a bit more comfortable with the workout move. By the third week, I felt that the moves were becoming a bit more easier in a sense that I had built some muscle that I didn't have before. Therefore, my endurance was a lot better. Another thing that I noticed was that when I went to my Pilates lesson and we did some core moves on the reformer, I felt like it was a lot easier than in the past. And in the end, from the results, you can see that I did gain some muscles in the butt area. I don't regret doing this workout even though it wasn't easy mentally and physically. I did see enough results to continue this sort of program. Now, I wouldn't do it five times a week. I think it's a bit too strenuous for me and my work schedule. I think I would do about two to three times a week and do some other types of workout as well. And I'm really glad that I took on this challenge even though it wasn't easy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and find some kind of encouragement to work out for yourself. If you guys have tried Chloe Ting's challenge, leave them in the comments below what kind of challenges you have done or you are doing currently and let me know how your results went. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!